Okay, this is the flooring I put in. It is called Classica Moderno, Moderno Classica Itali Italiano, something like that. It was really cheap, 66 cents a square foot. And what I did, per the instructions, I've never done this before, per the uh, suggestion of the uh, flooring place, I used this primer, which is more more like an adhesive than anything else. And that was, of course, before I put this down. Now, my recommendation, I should have sanded the floor a little bit more before I put it down. There are lumps and everything that you can't feel. It's not a big deal. This is a band-aid. That's why I didn't take a whole lot of time on it. Make it all nice and it's not terribly beautiful. Um, and then what I did is I used the stripper which that's for stripping um, wax that you have on there, not really meant for cleaning. But I went ahead and I used the stripper. And then, because I'm in a bathroom, I went ahead and I put the stain resistant floor sealer in there. Um, like I said, because I'm in a bathroom and water, doesn't matter how, how well you do uh, the vinyl planks, it doesn't matter how well you put it together, water will find a way. So I put the, seal the sealer in there and then after I did the sealer then I did my wet look floor polish and you can see all three of these products are by Zep um, and they're actually big jugs I think I got, a, got them all at Lowe's um, and that gave it a nice shine, nice gloss to it. You can see you can see the reflection of the light there. Now you can see this is what that's what the top, what the plank looks like but with the polish you can see how much of the shine came back um, so my suggestion would be to put the primer down uh, first obviously and then do all this other stuff you can see I don't have your traditional baseboards I used the I just Basically, I just scored this in half, and I put the cut end down, and then I went through and I siliconed here, and I siliconed on the top here, again, to prevent moisture, and then any cracks, like this, it's got a nice little, you can see it because you're this close, but you wouldn't see it from standing up, you couldn't see it. But it's got some nice clear silicone in there, again, to prevent moisture from getting in there and uh, causing havoc. So, um, yeah, the bathroom was carpeted um, when we moved in. I just finally got sick and tired of it. Um, and my only suggestion, I have a wood subfloor here. It didn't go down over concrete. My suggestion, um, had I been, had I paid closer attention I would have sanded it down a little bit more I had to sand down right around here that was a high spot here um, there's also a high spot right around here um, I don't you can't see it but yeah there's a high spot here and had I sanded it down like I should have I wouldn't have but it, again this is just a band-aid uh, be careful when you put this product down, it will be really slick. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, and so yeah, that's what I did. I just put the threshold in here. This is my little toilet area. I put the threshold in here. You can see it did the same thing here. Now your cuts around the toilet obviously don't have to be perfect because they're going to be covered up by the base of the toilet. Um, you can see my cock job there it looks horrible. It looks kind of horrible there. I still got to install this door and the stopper. Um, but so yeah, it it, it and, and I I I did not polish up this the the I'm gonna call it the base. I didn't polish that up. Um, I just put that on. I didn't seal it um, except for this you know wherever a couple pieces meet corners clear silicone and of course I cocked on the top here and you can see 
I ended up having to nail it into the wall because even though I had masked and primed it, which like I said, the primer is more like a, an adhesive than a primer. Um, yeah, it, it, it wouldn't stay. So I just went through and I got some, uh, got some finishing nails that are kind of a copper color. Uh, they don't stick out because they're not black and they're not, they're not the anodized, uh, chrome or galvanized or whatever. So they don't stick out like a sore thumb. Um, so anyways, that's what I did. Um, is it the right way? I don't know. But you know what? Again, it's just a band-aid. Um, eventually this whole bathroom is going to get totally redone. So I wasn't looking to, to put, you know, a $3,000 floor in. I was looking to put a $200 floor in. Same thing with the shower. That shower was actually done very cheaply. But, whatever. So, that's what I did. Um, if this idea helps, you know, great. You can expand on it, whatever. I really like the uh, the baseboard. It actually gives it a nice little, uh, yeah, little something, you know? Anyways, so that's what I did. Hopefully, this will help you. Um, so... There it is. Bye.